New York University is home to the highest international student population in the entire United States with over 21,000 international students going to NYU. Now, New York City in general has everything that an international student could wish for. It has a diverse culture, food from literally any part of the world, and an industry in any degree that you want to major in. I'm not gonna lie, the city life is something that I personally miss. Now living in upstate New York, in Ithaca, the only things here are probably like maybe one good Indian restaurant in the entire city, and there's not much to do. It's very quiet, and the city life, which is New York City, is extremely different than where I am living. Every time I go to the city, which is every few months, I am truly amazed to see how people live a really hustle and just go 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 life with like going in the subways and there's always something to do in New York City. So nevertheless, if you're fond of New York City or movies like Kal Ho Na Ho or any other movie where they show Times Square and all of those really fancy lights and that whole culture and crowd, NYU is probably a really good school for you. Although it's not part of the 8 Ivy League brand, NYU is a really popular school, especially for international students, and it offers some of the best academic and research facilities you can find in the US. We're going to break down what NYU has to offer, what their admission process looks like for undergraduate as well as graduate students, and the type of scholarships you could potentially apply for. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Saloni, and I have graduated with a Master's of Biomedical Engineering from Cornell University. And although my Master's was a while ago, we have this Road to Success series that we're doing this year. We've covered 16 other top universities like MIT, Harvard, Stanford, a lot of the other Ivy Leagues, all of the UCs, and many more. So you can definitely check out the playlist to see what you've missed. For the undergraduate class of 2026, over 80,000 students apply to NYU, which is a huge number, one of the highest that I've ever seen. And guess what? Over 27,000 students were accepted. Now, as everyone loves the test optional policy, and honestly, it's in like bold letters all over NYU's website, that SAT is optional and you don't have to write the test. I'm sorry to break your bubble, guys, but if you dig a little deeper, which is look into NYU's common data set in like very, very small letters on one of like the pages, they've mentioned that if you do give the SAT exam, they will consider your score during admissions. So even though it's an optional test, if you're someone who's a good test taker and can score well, that that can significantly increase your chances of getting an acceptance letter. On average, approximately 64% of the students who applied to NYU gave the SAT test and they scored anywhere between 1390 and 1510. So it is on the upper range, but like I said again, if you're a good test taker, go for it. In terms of the high school GPA, students that actually got admitted into NYU had an average GPA of 3.71, which roughly equates to above 90% for international students. So applying to NYU as an undergrad student is extremely simple. You'll do it through the Common App platform, which is one platform where you can apply to approximately 1,000 colleges in the US itself. Now you'll create an account for free, add colleges, in this case you'll add NYU, and then you go on to submit all of the required documents. Personal information, your personal essay, supplemental essays depending on what major you choose, any tests like your English proficiency test or a standardized test that you're taking, your extracurricular activities, honors and achievements, letters of recommendation, and your school reports. Now with all of this, the deadline that you guys are gonna be working towards is January 5th, 2023 in this case, because that is the deadline for NYU's applications. Now if you do all of this and get admitted into NYU, you are looking at setting your parents back over $83,000 per year. Like I hate to break it to you guys, but NYU is not cheap in any way. And to add to this pile of financial stress, NYU is also need aware, which, which means that if you indicate on your college application that you need financial aid, they will consider this when deciding whether to give you the admission or not. Now, this doesn't mean that none of the students get financial aid because NYU does state that it gives out aid to international students on an yearly basis. 
but you need to be really careful with what you're asking for. Now, if you're someone who's going to indicate on Common App that you do need this financial aid, you will also need to submit a separate application, which will be like a supporting documentation for financial aid, which is done through the CSS profile. Now, all of this includes your parents' um, income documents, tax returns, any income that you or a sibling has that provides to the general household and the size of your household. Now, this CSS profile, I've done like a separate walkthrough video. So feel free to check that out. Now, this is separate. It's independent of Common App. So make sure that when it's the time to submit your college applications, you are also submitting the CSS profile along with it. Don't delay it too long. And you don't want to give that gap between both of these submissions. So through the CSS profile, you'll be applying for the need-based financial aid. And unfortunately, digging through their website, I couldn't find any other merit-based scholarships that international students would qualify for. So coming to my graduate students, you guys will be using NYU's website portal to apply. Now, unlike undergrads, you don't have the liberty of using one platform to apply everywhere. You do have to apply separately. And this goes for almost all of the colleges in the US. Now, both masters and PhD students, you guys will need your resume, personal information, your um, personal statement or an academic statement of purpose. You can also expect one or two supplemental questions depending on the major that you're applying to, letters of recommendation, and any standardized test course that you may have. And if you do all of the things right and get an admit, you are looking at a tuition fee of about thirty to $50,000 per year. Now coming to the funding for graduate students, PhD students do get a fully funded position with like a conditions applied. You guys are expected to carry out research assistantships and teaching assistantships to assist professors teach undergrad classes and through that it covers your tuition and also leaves you with like a monthly stipend. But on the other hand, for any master's level students, although the RA and TA positions are available, they are in short supply and they're optional. So there is a chance that you could get it, but there's also a chance that it kind of, you know, gets full with PhD students or, or just or there are just handful of spots left. So you can't really rely on them. And I see a lot of master's students have this question that can they apply for these RA and TA positions before getting admitted? Unfortunately, you cannot. Only after you're admitted can you ask and inquire about applying to these positions. Now, I know that there isn't a lot of financial aid options for graduate students studying at NYU, but the silver lining to all of this is the scope that NYU provides after you've completed your degree or even in between. Now, as international students, you guys have the option of doing part-time work on campus. You can also do a CPT program, so maybe like a co-op, and New York City is a great place to do that. And even if after graduation you were to look for a job, you can find so many opportunities within the city itself. So you can kind of think of it this way, like the two or the four years that you spend in the city as a graduate student, you're, you're trying to learn, network, make connections. And at the end of the day, when you graduate, that will pay off because the average salary of a graduate from NYU is upwards of $100,000. All right, people. So that's all that I had today for NYU. And for our random question, if you're watching till this point, I want to know from you guys, what is the first memory you have where you found out or got really amused about New York City? Personally, for me, it was through this movie. It's a Hindi movie called Kal Ho Na Ho. And um, Shah Rukh Khan does like this really nice pose on the Brooklyn Bridge. And for the longest time, I'm like, I really want to go there. And then following that, I saw some other movies with Times Square and whatnot. But where did you guys find out about New York City and everything that it has to offer? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And the last thing I want to leave you off with is that the whole admission process can be very, very intimidating. And the last thing that you need as a student when you're applying is trying to figure out what you need to do. Because your focus, your one and only focus, should be on how you can actually get that admission. So making sure that your grades are good, making sure that your essays are on point, and to make sure that you stay organized in this entire admissions process, I've launched an Ivy League 101 course, which is perfect for any undergrad or graduate student who wants to apply in the US. It is a step-by-step -step course with everything organized in the order that you should be tackling, all the way from a walkthrough through Common App, graduate applications, CSS profile, everything that you can imagine. And all of this is an, at an affordable price. 
So definitely check it out. It's going to be the first link in the description. But like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.